Hi, I'm Tara Baker, and I've been here at Stella Olsen Park this week looking for nutria and beaver. Nutria, you know what those are, right? They're those really furry brown things that are in the pond at Stella Olsen. Uh, we're gonna go over there and look for them, so come on. We all love Stella Olsen Park. It's got a great playground, a fun stage where we have summer concerts, nature trails, and even a large pond. But today, what we want to learn about are beavers and nutria. They live in the woods surrounding the park. One of the differences between nutria and beaver is that nutria are usually out in the daytime and beaver are only out at night. So on a rainy day like this, I'm coming out for a sunbreak to see if I can catch one of the nutria out warming up in the sun. But so far, no luck. She wasn't what I was looking for today but she's pretty cool all the same. Quack, there she is, quack. So Mr. Nutria decided to come out and play today. I knew when the sun was nicer, when it was out, he'd come out. Nutria are a type of mammal. That means that they have fur and that they provide milk to their babies. They're often swimming or sunning or eating around the ponds here at Stella Olson Park but you can see them at a lot of different places here in the Pacific Northwest. They usually weigh between 10 to 20 pounds and the boys are a little bit bigger than the girls. They have big yellow teeth in the front. Those teeth are called incisors. Nutria like to rest during the day and feed just as the sun is coming up or as it's going down. We can see them here at Stella Olson Park, usually then or when the sun comes out after a storm. Then we will see them on the banks of the pond or swimming around. The back legs of nutria are much longer than their front legs. They look kind of silly moving on the land, but they're still very fast. There are two nutria. Oh, there he goes. He's off the nest. He left the mommy back behind. They're hanging out on a rainy day. Oh, he's coming to visit. You'll see the nutria out during the day, but you'll hardly ever see a beaver. Did you know that there was another mammal that lives in the pond at Stella Olsen Park? Yep, it's the beaver. These two animals do have a lot in common. First, we will find them both living around ponds or in marshes. They don't like it when the water is moving fast, so they don't usually um, live in streams or rivers. When you look at them, they do look kind of alike. They both have furry bodies and are almost the same color. In fact, their similar fur coats are why we have both of them here in Oregon. Let me tell you a story. More than 100 years ago, there were thousands of beavers here in Oregon. People love the look and feel of their fur so much that they would buy beaver fur skins and make coats and hats and boots from the fur. Hunters would capture beaver and sell their skins. So many people loved fur coats and hats that there were almost no more beaver in Oregon. The fur traders were worried they would not have any more fur to sell, so they went all the way to South America to find another animal that looked like the beaver. In South America, the koi poo lived around ponds and had furry coats that looked a lot like the beavers. They had more babies and were smaller and easier to catch. So people brought the koi poo to America. Here in America, we call these animals nutria, and they really loved our ponds and marshes. Pretty soon they spread out almost all over the United States. Fur coats and boots are not popular anymore, so there are more beaver and nutria here in Oregon, which is great news. They can both be found at Stella Olson Pond. Even though the nutria and beaver look alike in some ways, you can tell them apart if you know what to look for. First, nutria are a lot smaller than beavers. Nutria weigh on average about 12 pounds, but a beaver is almost three times that much. They weigh an average of 40 pounds. Also, these two animals have very different tails. The nutria has a rat-like tail that's long, skinny, and hairless. The beaver's tail is wide and flat. It slaps its tail on the surface of the water, smack, smack, to warn others when predators are around. 
Another important difference is where they live. Nutria usually dig a burrow at the side of a pond for one or two of them to live together. This can be very bad because the burrow can cave in and cause flooding outside of the pond. On the other hand, beavers will build lodges. These are going to be made out of sticks and mud. Usually whole families of beaver will live together. You won't see any doors on the lodges because the beaver get in through a hole they made under the water. Another difference between them is what they eat. Nutria love to eat soft plants like grasses and reeds. They also do a lot of digging and eat plant roots. Beavers have a very different diet. Okay, so you're probably never gonna get to see a beaver in person unless you're out really late at night or really early in the morning. They sleep during the day. They're nocturnal. So the best way to find things out about a beaver is to look for places where they've been. So here on this tree, I can tell they've been gnawing. What they like to do here is that they gnaw off the bark and then they eat the inside of the bark. That's what they eat for a meal. Sometimes they'll gnaw all the way down through a tree. The tree will fall, they'll pull it into the water and then they'll use it to build lodges where they sleep or dams where they, uh, they stop up the water and then the pond will start up behind it. They're big builders. This is a beaver dam I found at Stella Olson Park. It's between the playground and the stage. You can see it's made out of sticks. Beaver can feel the flow of water, so they will build a dam in a stream to slow the flow, and this creates ponds behind the dam. They build lodges and ponds that they've made. If you see stripped branches in the water like this, or spiked, gnawed tree trunks like this, then you know beavers have been building. Another clue that beaver are around is if you find a slide from the stream bank to the water. Beaver and Nutria too will use these slides to quickly escape into the water. I'm around the corner. Oh, cool. It's a slide down to the water. That's for beavers. Cool. And look at this area. They have just been eating and eating back here. Eating the bark, but also taking some of the trees down. That's my puppy. Hi Kodak. And look, they've eaten all the bark all the way down that tree. All this tree, I want to follow it down and follow the trail. And there's a trail right here. You can see some of the wood chips. More gnawing. If we keep following the trail, I'm hoping we're going to find some cool footprints. You can see footprints there. Maybe I'll come back later. Oh yeah. And get some plaster casts of those footprints. Okay, so I found an area where there's a whole bunch of beaver uh, sign. They've been eating the wood and eating the reeds in this area that I'm in. And I have found a beautiful beaver print. So this is the back print here in the center and up there right there in the middle of the screen now that is his front print. So he has two. So what I'm going to try and do now is make a plaster cast of both of those prints. This box up here is my first attempt. So we'll see if I can do it again. Well it's not very pretty but I've got three casts setting and we'll have to come back and see if I caught anything. After an hour, I pulled up the muddy plaster casts and brought them home. I had to clean off all the dirt to see what I made. I was able to see the paw prints and it was so exciting. After cleaning, I pa painted the prints a little bit so I could see them better. I thought that I had a beaver front paw print and a beaver back print. The front paw print is very small compared to the back webbed foot. But after looking in my wildlife tracking books and checking with a real life tracker, I found out that I have Nutria prints, not beaver. They were too small to be from a beaver. Man, beaver prints must be really huge, bigger than my whole hand for sure. I will have to go back and look again for beaver prints. I love hanging out at the Stella Olson Pond. I almost get to see a Nutria every time. And if the Nutria are hiding out, I love to watch out for the birds. If you go to the pond now, you will most likely see some ducks. I saw a different kind of duck for me there last week. 
a hooded merganser. They're really fun to watch because they dive all the way underwater to catch bugs and little fish, and then they pop right back up. When you go to the park sometime next week, keep your eyes sharp and you might be able to find some really cool things. If you can, try to find these special things along the trail on your next scavenger trip to Stella Olsen Park.